And I say, okay, because at last I'm living and I don't want life to stop. And when he kisses me, I want to cry because I've never been kissed like that, not in Hallett Cove. And he seemed to know things. And for once, it didn't seem to matter that I didn't. Three nights. Three nights, we stayed in bed. And after three nights, I knew some things too. And on the third night, I watch him sleeping and I do that thing you shouldn't do. I dream about the future. I imagine taking him home to meet mum and dad and my sister and brothers and how much they will love him like they love me. And, oh, I'm so embarrassed, but suddenly there I am, walking across the lawn on my dad's arm, and there's tears in his eyes. And my mum's there, and she's in a new dress, which she never lets herself have. And I love them all so much. Maybe even, like, too much, if you can love too much. But now I've got to make room for Emmanuel, who's standing there in a suit, and he just looks so... So, so handsome. And I'm there in a white dress. And then he wakes up and he looks at me as if he knows exactly what I was thinking and as if he wants to get up and run. So I kiss him on the lips before he can and he smiles. And I'm gone all over again. And as I lie on his chest, listening to the sound of his heart, thinking, hmm, I could listen to this for the rest of my life. I think, is this it? Is this what falling in love is? And when I wake up in the morning, he's gone. Along with 400 euros on my wallet. <laughs> my camera, my purse, favourite scar, and a large piece of my heart. You'd think I was having a fucking affair the way he behaves. I mean, what time... Have I got for an affair? I'm busy enough finding myself, let alone finding someone else. And I don't want anyone else. I've begun to find me. And I know it might sound selfish, but all I want for the time being is what I'm finding inside me. I've told him that you're just my teacher. I said how you kind of just give me room to breathe. How you sort of like to feed me without expecting anything in return. I see him looking at me sometimes and I know what he's thinking. He's wondering where the girl he married has gone. Sometimes he even buys me presents, thinking that presents will help her come back. But she can't because she's gone and I've taken her place. This place has given me life. And he's the one that wants to take life away from me. He just doesn't want me rocking the coffin, that's all. But coming here, doing this, has given me more life than I've had in years. And if he can't see that, if he doesn't want me when I'm alive, then I'm not going to just lie down and die for him. I've told him I only want a baby when I have a choice. He doesn't understand. He thinks we've got choice. Because we can go to a pub that sells eight different kinds of lager. He thinks we've got choice already because we can choose between one shitty school and another. Between jobs for jokers and staying on the doll. Between West Ham and Tottenham. He thinks we've got choice already because we can choose between stalk and butter. I've got to do this. I want to know. He can rip up my books and my papers, but if it's all in here, he can't touch it. Can he? It's like that with you, isn't it? You're all inside. 